outstanding. All right, now we're going to have a little fun. By little fun, I mean not very much. In fact, it's probably going to suck a lot. Well, kind of a lot, but not as bad as things can. First of all, I'm going to get some things together. Big old band-aid. Oh. Green soap. Same kind of soap they use in hospitals and tattoo parlors. for the disposal. Now, I'm going to take these bandages off and I'm going to clean out my wound which was acquired through a nasty infection that came from a little tiny scratch. Which is why you should always treat small scratches as if they're really big injuries. And but further note, whenever you do get an infection, always take care of it right away so that you may retain all your digits and appendages. Ah, there we go. Now, pulling the hair off sucked. Wait till we pull out. Do a little cleaning first. First, let's see if I can get a little close up of this. That is really not too bad at this point. Once upon a time, over Easter's, it was like from here to here, total disaster. Fortunately, taking care of it as soon as it happened, kept everything where it was supposed to be. So, always, 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 always see your doctor if you have an infection. And that goes for all infections, not just ones that may appear to be unusual, extra painful, or just a bit odd. You know, the $43.40 you spend at the clinic will be the best investment you get. Although, hooks are kind of cool. You know, but save it for when you really need it. All right. So tweezers, we're going to use those. All right, this is packing gauze. It is exactly idoform packing strip. Very fun and happy stuff. It's a regular Q-tip substitute for the extra long Q-tips that your doctor uses. Actually, doctor recommended. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out. Ugh. Yes, I know, it's very yucky. Mm-hmm. Very, very yucky. Not very big. Some people have had way worse ones. So, let's not lose any sleep over that. Let's take a good look. Yeah, that's a pretty big stinking hole, huh? Looks like a quarter slot, huh? Something like that. The little white stuff is remnants of the infection. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, repack this. Which, I gotta tell you, extra fun. Extra fun. Always be sure to clean everything. All right. So, 
I'm going to take this, kind of hook it onto the Q-tip. It's the best way to do it if you only have one hand to stick it in with, which, you know, it's kind of what's going on here. I don't want to obscure your view with the jar. Sorry about that. So, let's take it. And as best I can, start packing it in there. Now you're probably wondering, does this hurt? Yes, it hurts like a bastard. Okay. Alright. Now, I'll go ahead and cut this. This little nib out so that tomorrow when I clean it again and pack it again it'll be readily available to yank out last thing you want to do is tuck that little end piece in because then you're gonna have to dig it out and that's not gonna be any fun Close up our uh, little packer. Close up our implements of construction. That's construction, not destruction. Because trying to make things better, not worse. Or so now I'm going to take out this really big bandage, Walgreens band bandage. Now they are in general a good drugstore, and I like the people that work there an awful lot. The people at the pharmacy are kind of smarmy, so I don't really like dealing with them. Fortunately, since this is a workman's comp case, all the other stuff will now be transferred over to CVS, and we'll see if they're any better at their politeness. All right, I'm gonna take our little bandage, and we're gonna stick it on here. put it like that and we will do this again tomorrow before we go back to the doctor to make sure that everything is going the way it is supposed to be so as I said before be careful with your injuries do not expose them to hazardous conditions and if an infection occurs regardless of whether it is gangrene staph or just your regular old infection go to the doctor immediately digits appendages you want to keep them 